Kendrick Perkins, let me start with you. <laughs> 79 points for Joel Embiid in these first two games when we weren't even sure he was going to be healthy enough to play. How would you put into words what we've seen from that man in the first two games of this series? A beautiful thing to see, Greeny. Look, and he's doing it on one leg. He is dominating the Atlanta Hawks. He dominated last night. This man cannot be stopped. I'm sitting up here watching. I'm saying to myself, okay, they're going to double team him. He still find ways to get to the basket. Okay, I'm saying, okay, he's not going to make this face up. He's shooting over double teams. He's getting to the free throw line. He's doing it all. He's running out in transition. The big fella is in his bag. He bought a carry-on, and he threw some <laughs> luggage under the plane, Greeny. Right now, he's, he's look, look, he looks in phenomenal shape. And he's putting his 76ers team on his back. And by the way, he's carrying Ben Simmons. Okay, and there you have that. So Embiid spectacular. In the meantime, though, PJ, do a little coaching for us here. Let, let's teach the, the audience a little basketball here, okay? The Knicks had no answers for Trey Young through five games of that series, and the Sixers didn't in game one of this series. Last night was a totally different story. What did they do? Well, I think they did a couple things. First of all, they got more length on him. They have some really good length to throw at him with Ben Simmons, with Matisse Thibel, with Tobias Harris. If you'll notice, he shot one for seven from three because he had these big guys out contesting. They even got a piece of that one right there. So I think at times that length bothered him. And again, you can't just put big people. It's got to be big people that have a chance of staying in front of him like they were unable to do right there. But there's good help from the other people. Uh, their focus was much better. Uh, he also missed some shots he's going to make normally. He was one for seven for three. That's where it really made a difference. I just think their defensive focus was night and day. They dug such a hole, Greeny, in that first quarter of game one with all those turnovers. Look at the big guy, Perks guy, uh, working out and playing him. I mean, Joel Embiid, whatever injury he's got, a lot of bigs in the league should get it because he's played <laughs> unbelievable these first two games. <laughs> so, PJ, 1-1 <laughs> one, one now going back to Atlanta. The Hawks got home court advantage. Embiid has been spectacular. Who has the – as you watch this series right now, who do you like going forward in it? PJ. I like uh, Philadelphia. They have more experience. They've got Joel Embiid. As long as he stays healthy, uh, he has to be healthy. Again, we talked about it. How about what Shake Milton did? Uh, Doc has a hunch. Shake was so good in the regular season. He comes in. This one's to close the quarter. Their bench was really impressive after they came up with a donut in the first half. George Hill with a steal here, and he scores. And here is the insurance for Dwight. Right now, Dwight Howard is the insurance just in case. Uh, Joel's got to miss a game or they got to limit his minutes. He played really well for the Lakers, and he is a tremendous insurance policy for Doc Rivers. How about you, Big Perk? Who's going to win this series? Oh, it's the Hawks. The Hawks in six. Look, when they get to Atlanta, when Philly touched down in Atlanta, they're going to see that Magic City is not the spot. It's the FedEx Center, right? Oh, oh well, it's the center down there in Atlanta. We call it Club ATL, okay? It's going to be rocking up in there. They're going to be selling lemon pepper Lou wings in there. Look, <laughs> role players play better at home. And to go back to PJ's point, Shake Milton stepped up in the second half, and they got the crowd involved. But before then, before Shake Milton hit that three-point shot, the crowd was dead. Trey Young, if, if Trey Young is going to bounce back. Role players are going to play better at home. I see the Hawks winning this in six games. They have confidence. They won game one. They had a chance. They were in the game in game two. And, and instead, they had that little spur. So I have the Hawks in six. Okay, 13 super straight quick. wins, Greeny. 13 wins in a row at home for Atlanta right now. That's unbelievable. Yeah, they've been really good. I, super quickly, I just want to ask you both this question. I have less than a minute. Big Perk, Donovan Mitchell right now is the best player on a Utah team that's been the best team in the sport all season. Is he good enough to be the best player on an NBA championship team right now? Big Perk. Absolutely. Look, this is Dwayne Wade with a three-point jump shot. He has superstar written all over him. Greeny, he has showed us this time and time again. When it matters the most, he rises to the occasion. This Utah Jazz team has the pieces around them to win a championship, and they have a young superstar in Donovan Mitchell that could lead the way. PJ, agree? It's his turn. He's got to do it, though, Greeny. Yeah, I, no reason to think he won't, but he hasn't done it yet. He, you don't talk about it, you go out and do it. I think he's on the verge of doing it. I love that team.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.